Hey, uh, my name is Sam, and I'm really glad that you've come to join me today. I'm gonna gonna spend some time showing you around my farm because I want you to join me in a journey I'm about to take in rehabilitation. And uh, my wife and I had bought this farm, oh, I guess about 10 years ago. And uh, we, uh, we paid for it, we farmed it, and we moved abroad, we sold the farm. And came back, I came back a few, just a uh, month or two ago and sadly, the uh, the farm was coming back to me. There are there are a number of circumstances why that happened. I'm not going to go into that now. It's very tragic. But when I got here, the place was an absolute mess. And there were parts of me that said, I don't know if I want this farm back because the work it's going to take. But this is where I'm going to live. This is where I'm going to spend the rest of my life. So I wanted to, I'm wanting to rehabilitate the place. And I want you to come with me. I want you to, I'm going to give you a little tour today. And so you can see for yourself what kind of work I've got cut out for me. And then we'll get back together and talk a little bit. Uh, about what rehabilitation is all about and how I think this channel may help you whether you're trying to rehabilitate a farm like I am or rehabilitate your life, your finances, any number of things. So uh, just uh, stay with me. I hope you'll tell your friends about it. I hope you'll hit the like button. I hope you'll subscribe. And I hope that you can get a lot out of this as we uh, journey together to rehabilitate the farm as we rehabilitate our lives. I just want to show you around a little bit here. This is the house. We're going to get to that a little bit. I don't even have an order in which I'm wanting to do this. I'm wanting, I'm wanting to show you how bad a project this is, how big a project this is going to be. So we're going to start, we'll start here in the pastures. I used to farm uh, goats and cows and donkeys, and rabbits, and turkeys, chickens, uh, a big garden. But this is the uh, these are the pastures right now. I don't know if you can see. They haven't been mowed in a long time. They're going to have to be bush hogged. I'm going to try to to show you here how deep the grass is. I'll show you my foot here. You can see this is very professional camera work. And then as we uh, come back here, you can see there's where, uh, there's my car. But here are the junk cars that are littering the place. And I think I'm gonna show you the house before I show you the inside of the barn. But I'm trying you, for you to get a glimpse of the vastness of this project. Now this farm is about between six and a quarter and six and a half acres. So it's not huge, but this project is going to be, this is where I'm gonna start, is out here on the deck. We had uh, put in a deck all around this uh, property and it's pretty rotten, but it's, you can see all the junk that's on here. You can get a load of the steps, the repairs they're gonna take. And I want you to see these weeds that you're seeing here are actually growing up and through the siding. This tree has grown over the deck these were our rocking chairs. Now, once I get the house done, I'm going to plan on refinishing these. I'm going to sand them down and see if I can't salvage them. But you can see all these weeds that have grown up around the property and how they're growing on the house. You can see the, the house is going to need to be 
clean, pressure washed. You're gonna love this one. This is a tree. This is a tree that is growing up through the deck. This is a fence that we put on the deck when we lived here. I'm hoping to be able to save it. We'll see. That's a little bit down the road. I'm gonna take you into the house now. This is the uh, south entrance to the house. And this used to be my wife's soap studio. And you can see all of the junk that's in it. Now the person who lived here, it's a very sad story. I'm not gonna make any accusations. He was a hoarder, he admitted to being a hoarder. But uh, then uh, this is a spare bedroom. Things that are in the spare bedroom. This was the guest bathroom. It's got a hole in the ceiling. Here is the kitchen. Uh, the living room, I don't know what you'll be able to see. It's pretty dark. The lights aren't working in here, but you can see all of the stuff that's in here. We'll go on back to the master bedroom. This is the main entrance to the house that's on the front. Uh, we walked by that when we were out on the deck. This is the master bedroom. This is a master closet, if I can get into it. Hmm. And the master bathroom. I know this is taking a long time to get around, but I want you to see everything. I'm trying to document this for posterity, document it for my own records, and uh, document it for you. So let's go out now. Look around the property outside. Like I was saying, we've all got something that we need to rehabilitate. It might be uh, it might be real estate like this. It might be a piece of property, but maybe maybe you have to rehabilitate your own life. Maybe your finances are like this house; they're just in complete disarray. Maybe there's a relationship in your life that's broken, and or maybe you've been addicted to to drugs or alcohol, and you've got to start over. Whatever it is, however bad it is, you can do it. You can, uh, and, and that's why I want you to go with me on this journey. A lot of people say, this is just terrible. This is just awful. And it is, it is. But you see, I can, I remember what it was like before. And I remember how peaceful my life was here. And I can see it that way again. And your life hasn't always been a mess. Maybe you've been abused since you were a child, but you've got some memory of something good that happened in your life. Something, sometime when your finances were good, sometime when your relationship was happy, sometimes you remember, you know, before your addictions. Life can be that way again. We're in the barn now. 
this is uh, the main part of the barn. And we used to use this for uh, uh, storage. We were kind of preppers. And this was our storage area. And uh, over on the far side where you see the those tarps hanging down, the far side of that was my wife's workroom, her uh, workshop. Uh, now it's all just like, it's all just like this. But I would say that if you can remember or you can even imagine what life could be like without your crisis, without your mess, without your disaster, then I'm hoping that our project here will help inspire you to great things. Help it will inspire you to pick up one piece at a time. But you can't do it alone. It's going to take several things. We're, we're in another part of the garage now. Uh, well, another part of the barn, I mean. Uh, this part was a garage um, for tractors. And there were one, two, three stalls. And they're like the rest of it. They're, they're filled floor to ceiling and wall to wall with with junk but no matter how bad things are if you'll have a plan and you'll get people to help you and you will you will have patience and perseverance and faith in God there is not a thing in the world that you can't accomplish there's not a project in the world that is going to be too big for you. Got one part more of the barn to show you. This is the last of the stalls. This is where one of the places where we used to keep our rabbits. You can see that rabbit cage there. And we had a few, we had some stalls that we had put in here to put uh, sick goats and things like that. But, uh, not anymore. There's just everywhere you go, it is just pile of disaster after pile of disaster. The back pastures are just like the front pastures, only they have uh, they have some vehicles in them. Let me see if I can get out to that before we go. Now, most of these, I just for those of you who are watching, most of these videos are going to be properly edited this one is not this one is a big picture that i want you to see all of it i want you to see how big this mess is because i want you to come with me and watch us turn this disaster into a working farm again I'm excited about it. Yes, I'm scared. I'm 65 years old. That is, uh, that is not when most people are planning on launching a new project. But I'm retired and I'm gonna do it. And I want you to come with me. I want you to be a part of this every single step of the way. Here's another picture of the deck as we're walking by. I gotta take you down and show you the garden area. I forgot that. Um, I used to have a greenhouse and you can see some of the garden things are up here by the house. Very little is usable. We'll come out here and you can see the garden. You can see here what used to be my greenhouse. Back behind it 
those blue tubs that you see, that was an aquaponics unit. And we get closer up here. You can maybe see some of the disaster that my greenhouse has become. But there are, well, let me show you this. This is what gives me hope. Right here is a rose bush that I planted six or seven years ago, and it's still here. Yeah, it needs a lot of work, but just like the rest of the property, it can become something really beautiful again. And I can't wait to turn it into something magnificent. Here's another one over here. Here's another one right here. I hear my neighbor over there. I'm gonna go over and see him here in just a minute. But I wanna take you out here in the garden and show you. These were my garden beds. Everything is still here, but it is, it's like a hurricane came through. It's like a, it's, I feel like an archaeologist that stumbled on something and I've got to dig it up. I got to dig it out and find what treasures are here. So that's it. This is my task. And like I said a while ago, I hope you'll come with me. I hope you'll be here each week as we give you an update and tackle a new project. I'm Sam. This is rehabilitation, renovation. Bye-bye.